Hello everybody, Nathan here. Today we're going to be looking at loops, I think. I know I say I think because I'm not sure if that's actually the, like the, the technical term for this, but you're looping through something, so I'm assuming so. Um, and I know there's a different style that's similar to this, but it's it's totally different, but it's similar, which is kind of a oxymoron, I guess, but we're going to be looking at that next week. Um, but this week we're going to be looking at this, and it's it's pretty basic. Um, if you've ever done any coding, in I'm assuming pretty much any language you're going to have, because this isn't really a mind test specific thing. I mean, this is a Lua thing. Um, so basically what we have is we have 4i, which I'm, a standing stand, I'm, I'm assuming stands for integer, equals 2 through 4, 2 comma 4, it's going to be 2, 3, and 4, do. So, let me backtrack. Um, let me tell you what's going on here. This is my survival mod, um, and this is the well top. Um, oh yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, it's the well top. And of course I lost my spot here. Uh, here we go. On metadata inventory take. So after we've taken out our filled bucket canteen, or the thirsty canteen, uh, we run a random chance, which is a 1 in 500, which we're going to change to 2 for this example. We run, you know, so this will return a number 1 through 500. If the chance number equals 2, then we're going to change the form spec because the well dried out. So we say this well dried out, blah, blah, blah. Now, my old method, I was doing this. I ran mind test set node three times individually in the code, and I did x position equals x position because x wasn't changing. Same with the Z, but the Y position, I was going down one node lower each time, replacing it with dirt. Probably doesn't really make a big difference to the engine for something small like this, but we use a lot less code if we do something this way. Um, and less code means smaller file size, which means faster downloading. And we're all worried about that, right? Especially when we're talking like 2 or 3 kilobytes, if even. But, so let's explain what this does. We're pretty much going to loop through this, and i is going to equal 2, then it'll equal 3, then it'll equal 4, and once it finishes that, it'll end. So we're just doing, setting a node, the x position stays the same as it did in the old, as does the z. The y position, where you are subtracting i. i will equal to the first loop through, then it will equal 3 the next loop through, and it'll equal 4 the next loop through. So it'll pretty much replace these three lines with one line here. So I'm going to just remove all that old text, and we will save this, and let's give this a whirl. Now, unfortunately, I am pretty sure, yep, I killed my old well here. And I don't have a pickaxe on me. I do love using the give me command. Give me default. And you know, I'll just go with a steel pick. I mean, hey, if we're going to cheat to get it anyways, may as well get something good. All right. So, as we need to do to place a well, we have to dig a hole three deep. And then we place the bottom of the well right there. And then we place the top of the well above that. Which do I not have? Oh, not in my, not in my little HUD bar thing here. Ta-da! We have a well. Um, I can put in a partially filled canteen in there, and that'll fill it. Oh, did I? I did. Okay, good. So we wait seven seconds, and the well dried up. And now, if we look here, mm, spilled a dirt. And if we knock this down. We will see that the dirt has indeed filled three holes deep. So that's cool and all, um, but we can. I mean, like I said, this example is kind of lame. Let's see it with something incredible. I'm just gonna copy this, and we've got our old new mod from my first series. That was, um, you know, it was, it was I. 
But let's do this. Uh, actually, let's leave that at 2. And let's put this up to like 150. We're going to set node. Um, no, let's not do default dirt. Let's do... And this isn't going to make sense at all, but that's alright. What we're going to do is just an example here to see how this can save a lot of work if we're doing something big. Uh, after place node, we're going to call this function. Um, we won't need those. I don't know what the old function did. I don't remember. But we're just going to have, after you place the node, and we won't need an if in there. What we are going to do is put, so this node here is the bad RX, which is the little pill bottle. Uh, after we place it, it is going to put that node 150 up into the sky. Assuming all my code is right here. Um, I think I have new mod enabled in this world. I believe. Yes, I do. Um, oh, there's an error. Say what? What did I do wrong? This is why I love the debug. Failed to load. Blah, blah, blah. New mod nodes line 185 it's expecting something to close oh um I have an extra end in there that that could be a problem shouldn't be calling more ends than we need to all right ooh i got such ugly old walls i've used this world for a, a myriad of different test things so it looks Honestly, really, really disgusting. But, be that as it may, let's get some bad medicine here. I don't have any on me. Give me new Hamad. Bad underscore RX. And we have this little pill thing. <laughs> what is this? Why are they all falling? What in the world? Why are these guys, um, okay, I don't really know why that's happening. Why are they all falling down? They shouldn't. Okay. Let's do this. Let's change this from two. Well, actually, let's leave it at... No, let's put it to 1. Um, and we're going to change this back to default dirt. And I have more than enough of these bad RXs to place now. Super tall tower of dirt. And that's going to act as we would expect. It's got to be something with these not being nodes they're not really meant to be placeable superly much. I have a super tall line of dirt now. Yay. Um, and of course you can use this for anything. Um, it doesn't just have to be placing nodes. Right, I'm just kind of running away so we can get a, a bird's eye view as it were. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's super tall. And, um, yeah, how many lines did that take us? That's, that's three, right? Well, technically two, because you'd have to put it, well, no, it is, it's three. It takes three lines, because you wouldn't use an end otherwise, or that you'd still use this end, but you wouldn't use that. So, yeah, you're using three lines, but on something like this, I'm going to take three lines any day over writing this out 150 times, of course copy and paste, but then to go through and change every single one of these, you know, change one, down arrow, backspace two, down arrow, backspace three, you did 150 times, you know, you'd end up saving time writing a macro to do it for you, than just doing it yourself that way, or of course you could do it this way, and take a fraction of the time, and I mean, just to see, 
just to see what happens. Let's set that to a thousand. Okay, I don't think it's gonna crash anything. And if it does, I'm not too worried about losing this world because it's kind of messy garbage. Oh, I'm feeling some lag here. I am feeling some lag. Okay, it did not place... The lag's gone. Definitely not lagging anymore. Uh, but it only placed, as you can tell, one piece of dirt. Okay, so there could be some limitations to that. Um, it seems as if 1,000 is a little farther than it wants to go. Let's just try 500, just just because. I mean, I can't think of any... Oh, whoa, wrong world. I can't think of any single use case where you would want to place that many. But... But who am I to tell you what you would or want, wouldn't want to do? Hmm. Most intriguing. It won't place... 500 either. Um, but we know it is 150, so, and like I said, I can't imagine that you'd ever need to place that many anyways. The 500. I, just, I don't know what you'd use that for. Um, unless you were doing it instead of, because you could do it on a Z or Y position too. And you could do it on either. Or you could do it on multiples. I mean, we can do, oh wait, what am I doing? X plus 1. Let's launch my test up again. And this will be the last example, I promise. Play around with it all you want. You can do creative things here. Huh. Well, you could do creative things if this worked. I broke something. What did I did I mess up? For I think it was one two hundred fifty do that node position. Oh, because I'm an idiot. You've probably all been yelling at your screams like, You idiots! You're not putting an I there. You put a 1 there. It's not going to do anything. Okay, let's put it back to a 1,000. And we'll see what happens. And I bet it won't have any problems. The only reason it did is because I was an idiot. Well... Who's up for a trip up the thousand stair staircase? You want to build a staircase to the sky? Look no further than this. Man, this is this is really sweet. It just keeps going and going. And theoretically, it's going to keep going for a very long time. I'm afraid to look down. Let's... We're not even, well, why is there an empty spot there? We're not even to the height of that one, and that's only 150. This one's 1,000. I should have set this up the stairs, and I wouldn't have to do all this jumping. Just run right up it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Empty spots. I can't, I can't jump that high. Well, oh no, oh no, I'm going to die. Ouch. Well, if anybody wants to use a stairway, <laughs> it's there. And man, it'll kill you. Well, there we go, doing loops. Save yourself some time. And, uh, yeah. Again, like I said, it's really, it's more of a Lua thing, but... Hey, if you're modding mind test, you need to know Lua because that's the programming language that is used. So, peace out, guys. I will catch you again next week with another modding tutorial. And like I said earlier, it'll be on another style of looping, which is which is different. I mean, I, I don't know what else to call it. Hopefully, I can figure out what the like the technical name of it of it is by next week, so I can actually call it by its proper terminology. But 
Thanks for watching, and I'll be back again next week with another MindTest modding tutorial.